my uh, Contour Wirebird, which uh, was custom built for me by Sam Walker at Wirebird Guitars. Um, he was first off my guitar tech, so he kind of knew how I liked my guitars to be play, um, set up and played. Um, so to start off, I've got bare knuckle pickups in here. I've got a Rebel Yell, no, sorry, a Holy Diver in the bridge and a VH2 in the neck. In the other guitar, I have um, the Rebel Yell. Uh, custom made bridge, which uh, is extremely comfortable. Uh, simple, no Floyds. I can't really deal with those live. They cause a lot of issues. Um, Spurzel locking tuners. Um, and then like American hardware um, for everything else, so you kind of know there's going to be no issues in terms of the electrical parts of it. Um, I use Dunlop strings I, on the this guitar, which is in drop D. Um, I use a 52 to 10 set. Um, I have this here, which is a little bit of foam, just to mute out basically any kind of um, overringing harmonics which you kind of get pretty much on any guitar. Um, and just kind of there just to make sure that when we play the kind of tight rhythmic stuff that we do, that it'll completely uh, stop dead. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of, um, it's how I've kind of played my, all my guitars have, over the last few years have always been um, this kind of uh, setup basically, which is uh, a Swamp Ash body, maple neck, flame maple fretboard, um, and it's just very consistent. Um, rhythm and lead wise, it's kind of a very balanced kind of sound. Um, and yeah, I couldn't be happy with it. I think this guitar uh, is contoured, as you can kind of see here, um, which makes it a lot more comfortable. It's quite thin in comparison to a lot of um, other tellies that you get out there. Um, and it just allows for a very kind of uh, comfortable, enjoyable playing experience when playing live. So Wirebird, again, it's essentially the same as, as Dez's. This is one of the, this along with Dez's yellow one, is one of the first models that he built, so it doesn't have the, uh, the rounder uh, back to it. Um, it's a cold sweat and a painkiller in the neck, so a cold sweat in the bridge. Um, I mean, you know, in, t in terms of of playing it, it's a, you know, I, I needed a guitar that I don't play any leads, so I, I didn't need need that. But for for rhythm, it's I need it to sound huge, um, be able to take a bit of a battering. We we like to move a bit on stage. Um, but be light as well, like I didn't want a, a chunky guitar. As you can see, it's quite thin, nice contour. Um, I don't know if you can t see all the, uh, the dings, chips come off there. Um, I don't know where they've come from. They're, they're from so many, so many different shows that we've done. Um, like I said, I just need it to stay in tune if I'm throwing it around. Um, and it's an odd tuning as well. We use a, it's like a drop A and then everything else is standard. So A, A, D, G, B, E. Um, and yeah, I don't know if there's a little bit of blood down there. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> um, we have both of ours, not on Dez's purple, but on his yellow one, we have a, a little crest. When we first started the band, that was like a little logo. So we put that in there. Uh, you can see that there. 